talk about felting. We'll make several videos on this. And felting, there's different ways of doing it. One way is when you knit or crochet any piece of fabric or flower or whatever thing you want to do and then it shrinks because this is wool and you put it in such sea hot water and it shrinks and this is the same size as this the exact same size but this is without shrinking this is the fabric the knitted part without shrinking and this is when it's shrunk it, it shrunk but you know it's not completely you can still see the fibers you can still see the knitting but if you shrink it enough if you shrink it even more it will be very tiny and these stitches would not show anyway we can still cut flowers or petals or something out of this and it's not going to fray you cannot do it here because it will start fraying but when you felt the fabric the, the it starts like intertwining the fibers get intertwined and then so it it doesn't fray so this is one another example this is a crocheted flower that I made this is the exact same one without felting this one has been put in soapy hot water and I swished it around for a while and this is without so we are going to show you how to do that on this video but I really wanted to show the difference between something that has been felted like this and something that hasn't of course this can be made even smaller if you wanted to but this is how much I decided that it looked pretty in, all, uh, in order to do stuff of course you can do felting you can make pictures you can embellish knits you can make flowers for hats and gloves and then you can needle felt so there's a whole bunch of stuff that we can do with it so I am going to go get the hot soap and water and I'll be right back. So use Sudsy soap. The more natural, the better. You know, the natural soap, like they sell it like lavender, and but you know, the beigey kind of soap, the natural kind. Warm water with lots of so, uh, suds. You you put your soapy water. Yes, you put mm -hmm. your hand around your soap. Put it in there. And if your water needs to be warmed up, pop, pop, pop it in the microwave for a little bit. So here is my flower that I uh, that I knitted with uh, wool yarn. It does need to be wool yarn because it needs to shrink. Crochet. So there it goes. This is not crochet. This is knitted. Oh. But there we go. And I'm using a score because I didn't want to bring something big into the table because it... Uh, there's no takes space. up too much space. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we we have too many flowers and things going on. So you swish it around and swish it around, and it has to be really swished around. So there are many methods of doing this. One of them is when you put the, uh, your tablecloth or towel or something, and then you do it with bubble wrap. And Ooh. we're going to be doing that and uh, of course you can make beautiful pictures and flowers and a whole bunch of stuff with the with the felting so let's see how it's coming up and you can see that it's starting to the fibers are starting to get together but it needs to be much 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 more so of course that's almost nothing let's pop it in there a little bit more and I'm going to continue doing this and I'll see you in a little bit you see how it's starting to get fibrous yes, and it's getting Fussy. smaller and smaller we still need a little bit more because look at the difference yeah that's the one you already made on the left yeah so let's do it a little bit more 
or a lot more, maybe 15 more minutes. Of course it shrinks a lot once it starts drying up, right? Yeah, but you can see more or less what it's going to be looking <laughs> like when you have it. This is my flower, how it's coming out, but I really, really want to give it a nice shake. So I put it in my hands with soapy water and I really, really give it a big squeeze. Yeah. Scrub squeeze down. It. Nice and little do scrub this, down. You know, like, okay, get there, get there, and kind of uh, get it in there. And now it's we're like going you're playing to, with dough. And of course, you know, see how it's shrinking? Mm hmm. But it needs, like, okay, more, more, more. And now. We're going to rinse it with hot water and then with cold water. And I'll be right back. See how tiny that is? And of course, if you want it tinier, you can keep doing that stuff with your hands. Of course, this is the tail. You don't want to mess with that. You can cut it. So I, I really just wanted it so I could hold on to the flower with it. But that's the way it looks. And I'm going to let that dry. This is, I think, yeah, more or less the same size. So we let that dry. It's going to shrink just a little bit more. And we're going to set those two aside. This is another flower that was felted also. It was kind of big. It was like this big. And it shrunk to look like that. And you can knit or crochet any flower. So we are going to be in another another video, in another tutorial, we're going to be doing knitted and crocheted hearts and flowers and thank you very much for watching but you know please uh, subscribe and comment and like this video and I will see you on part two. If you're looking for...